Hey cousins, welcome back to Cooking with Henna Soul. This week we are making another flavorful yet quick meal that you can make just about any day of the week. And I'm talking about my shrimp scampi linguine. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is not red lobster shrimp scampi. You got a little bit of a kick, but I think you're going to like it. Now before we jump right in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now that we got some business out of the way, let's jump right in. The first thing we're gonna do is brine our shrimp because baby girl likes to stay plump. So we're gonna be taking one tablespoon of kosher salt and sugar, combining it, and then topping it off with some cold water, and then we're gonna set these aside for 30 minutes. So guys, the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and get everything chopped up that we need for the recipe. And we're gonna be starting with our fresh garlic because who is making scampi without garlic, right? So we're gonna be taking four cloves of fresh garlic and mincing it. Now, let's say you don't have any fresh garlic, but you have the refrigerated already minced garlic, it will also do the job. Now we all know that chopping garlic is a labor of love, so go ahead and put some elbow grease into it. Let's get it minced up. Now once our garlic is minced up, we're just gonna go ahead and toss it to the side for later. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop up some fresh parsley as well. Now here's another thing with the parsley. I like fresh parsley, the taste of it and the look is so vibrant, but you can also use the already dried parsley that you can get from your local grocery store. Next, let's take a pot of water over medium high heat, heavily salted and add a little bit of olive oil and bring it to a boil for our pasta. Next, we are going to rinse that brine off of our shrimp, so make sure you thoroughly run some cold water over it, and then we're gonna drain them and dry them before we season. So now that we made sure that our shrimp are all dry, we're gonna toss them into a bowl and season with one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and black pepper. So once you season your shrimp, go ahead and give them a toss so that the seasoning is evenly distributed over all the shrimp. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a skillet over medium high heat and add three tablespoons of olive oil and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. This is where that kick comes in. And trust me, you don't wanna leave this part out. You're gonna just let it saute and make sure that the oil gets all of that heat into it for about a minute and then go ahead and toss in your shrimp, but make sure not to overcrowd your skillet so that they can evenly cook. Now you'll always be able to tell when it's time to turn your shrimp, they'll start to get a little white around. So just go ahead and give it a flip. We're cooking for about two to three minutes on each side. So once you give your shrimp that first flip, guys, let it cook for about a minute or so before you add in that fresh garlic. And we are going to let that cook for about one to two minutes as it gets translucent. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of cold butter. So guys, once your butter begins to melt, it's now time for the wine. You can use regular Chardonnay or some cooking white wine. You're gonna be needing about a cup and a half Oh, what the hell, I used a whole bottle and that's about a cup and three quarters. So we're gonna go ahead and get that combined and then we are going to let this simmer over medium heat until it reduces by half. At this point, it looks like our water is boiling for our pasta. I'm using linguine, so go ahead and drop it in and we're gonna be cooking it until it's al dente. You can use your package to determine that, but it's usually about 10 to 11 minutes. So now that our pasta is done, go ahead and drain it, but leave a little pasta water behind for later. As you can see, our white wine has reduced and we would normally add the juice of half of a lemon, but I didn't have any. So I just went ahead and used a couple of drops of that oh so potent <laughs> concentrated lemon juice. And then I stirred it a little bit and I pulled it off the burner. While it is still hot guys, make sure to add three tablespoons of ice cold butter. This helps it to emulsify the sauce and it really does thicken up a little bit so that it adheres to our pasta better then we're going to toss in that oh so vibrant parsley give it a toss and guys this already looks amazing 
So guys, we're gonna let our sauce sit for about five minutes as it continues to do what it needs to do. And then we're gonna return it to the burner on low heat and then toss in our pasta while also adding in two tablespoons of that pasta water. Once we get everything combined, take a good handful of shredded Parmesan cheese and toss it as well. And guys, guess what? We are done. And guess what? I'm going to show you how I plated this. So now that everything is ready to go, go ahead and get your plate of choice. And we're actually going to twirl our pasta before putting it down into the plate. It really does help you to control it a little bit better so that it gives you a better presentation. So top with as much pasta as you need, then go ahead and start topping it with your shrimp. Now, the best part of this dish is still in the skillet. So we're going to make sure that once we get it topped with our shrimp, that we are going to drizzle some of that amazing sauce on top. And then, of course, we are going to top it with some Parmesan cheese. And then here come the Bougie Hall of Fame. Go ahead and parsley bay it. All right, guys. But guess what? We're done. It looks absolutely amazing. It's quick. It's easy. When I tell y'all, it's all sorts of delicious. I mean it. So as always, guys, I had such an amazing time making this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can meet me here every Thursday when I drop a new video. And remember, success is your birthright. And I want you to go out there and get it. Until next Thursday, Soul Family.